people believe food comes from the supermarket. I'm not one of them. Okay guys, so we're super stoked. Um, next week is the Two Oceans Mar Straits by Marlin competition. We've got a great team, we're gonna have a lot of fun and hopefully we're gonna win first prize. It's more about the bragging rights than the actual prizes, although they're super cool prizes. We fished last year, we got a Mako and we're hoping for a little bit more. We're hoping for, I'm hoping for my first Marlin. Okay guys, so this is our, 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 our Marlin crew. I'm hoping uh, these guys are experienced enough What's our plan for the day? Um, we're starting. We're not starting that early, but we were a bit worried about the wind, and we we're worried about cancelling this morning. So we're getting a six o'clock start, um, and we're not getting that far either today. Only 12, 12 miles, so it should be fine. And let's have a fantastic day. We're going to box to win. The plan is uh, we're going to go out there, maybe catch some live bait, and put some live bait on for Marlin. No, no, but there's years of experience on this boat. I think Byron's. Caught uh, a couple in his life. Anton and Ian, great uh, skippers and, and, and boat uh, experience years, and we just the amateurs going to have fun. And then for breakfast, I've got sausage, onions, garlic, and eggs. I'm gonna make an omelette. Day one of the Marlin competition. No, Let's get it going. We're ready to roll. First day of the comp for the Marlin. So we're gonna eat it. See what's happening. Let's rock and roll. Stick this video out to the end and you'll find out how you can win some of the cool branded clothing that's on the video. That's the secret coffee, brothers. Condensed milk. We're going to be trailing along at about seven knots, seven and a half knots, which is in layman's terms about 12 to 13 kilometers an hour. And we're going to head out uh, tick tacking across the current so we get a nice even spread of clear water and some white water out the back of the boat. That'll be our long on the right hand side, and we will be uh, setting up the next one. That's so the idea here, if you want to get it back just far enough. But the lure is what, does what we call smoking and it keeps spraying out some water ahead of it um, just to make some surface disturbance to attract the fish up to the lure. We're now going to put it up on the out trigger. Magic! Clear the rods! Clear the rods! Okay! Yeah. Stop it! 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 Stop Oh, it's getting a good go now. I've got you, my boy. Shout out to Philip who lent us this lure. We said that Byron took the made the call that this was the first lure gonna get taken. I watched that Mako take, I thought it was a marlin. I was really hoping for my first big marlin, 
and uh, hopefully on this comp we still got four or five days of fishing. But good call, brother. I made sashimi, uh, yellowtail sashimi. It's made nice garden salad. And I made a lovely Thai dressing to go with uh, the sashimi. Initially we were the only boat that landed, even if it was a shark. So the Mako was my, my personal best, my second Mako. And um, one of the boats was on a big, big, um, big black marlin, 200 plus kilos, two to 300 or something. And they fought it for about four hours and lost it. Morning guys, day two here. We're about to head out. It's nice and early in the morning. Uh, we're hopefully gonna catch some liveies, some bonnies. So we're gonna tie a little knot from braid onto fluorocarbon. So I'm gonna show you a really simple way to do it with a bobbin tool. These bobbin tools, hopefully we can get them up at the Catch Cook site very soon. Comment below if you would be interested to see how we achieve this easy technique. And if you would like a tutorial done in a future video. Super strong. This morning I made some extra uh, wraps for us. I made some bacon, tomato, mushroom and roasted cauliflower. Day two of the competition, day three at sea for us. Not without my holies. No comment, too early. Actually it's not that early, this is late even. We've been bad. Marlin control, Marlin control, Marlin control, catch cook, catch cook. Uh, good morning, good morning, catch cook. Good morning, Marlin control applying all. Eight people on board and we hit, um, ETA is going to be around about 12 o'clock this afternoon, 16 hours. Okay, all received, 16 hours. Good luck, pipelines, and we'll be standing by any two dollars. I 
Take your strap of legs. Some reps. It's not that very, it's very easy and it's very, very odd. Oh, whoa. Cold morning at sea, for a nice breakfast wrap. It has been prepared by Mark. It looks delicious, I wish you guys would taste it. So check out the rig we're using today. They got all that shark footage yesterday. It's an unbelievable piece of equipment. It's a floating selfie stick and um, a GoPro 9. I'm gonna put a link to both of them on Amazon at the bottom. We've done the maths in South Africa. It's a lot cheaper to buy the camera and the stick on Amazon. So check it out and uh, check the link out. He just had a great hit, small marlin, but two hits on the same lure, and then he made a duck. A lot of people say you should never take eggs and bananas on a boat when you're fishing. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'm okay now. Okay guys, so it was a rough day at sea. It's not what the brochure promised us, a nice flat day, under two meters, one and a half meters swell, eight knots. That didn't happen. It was bumpy. A lot of us felt a bit sick today. Uh, one did kill a cat. We did get a double strike that we spoke about. Um, a little bit of bird activity. The dolphins were unbelievable to see. We just saw a whale blow now. Um, so it was a lovely day at sea. Every day at sea, you live another day longer. All branded merchandise featured in this video is available to purchase on catchcook.com. We had a on back today, very disappointed. I really thought we were gonna catch a fish. So we got one person down that could have corona with a bit of diarrhea and a bit of uh, vomiting and can't 
taste. And now we're going to do a little smell taste on Cameron. A little vinegar cooking up. Come here, Cameron. If you can't smell that, brother. Yep, I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> He's cool. Good morning, Catch Cook viewers. Today is day three of the Marlin competition. Two days have been taxing. It's been about 12 hours a day on the water and it's calmed down a little bit from yesterday. So we hope it has at least yesterday. The brochure said it was going to be very little wind, very little swell. Yeah, right. It was hectic. Um, all feeling sick. Today we're hoping for a lot better weather. We've got a new game plan. We're going to go for live bait. We're going to go to the 12 mile and we're going to put all efforts into live bait and we're not going to play too much with the corners if we get some live bait today. The fish are unbelievably big that are coming out. Two to 300 kilograms. Um, 12 strikes yesterday apparently. So um, yeah, we're looking forward to a good day. The fish are here and we've got a good team and as long as we have fun, that's the business. F have fun and eat well. Hoping today we catch a nice tuna or some fish something. I like to make this amazing dish we'll be working on. It's a half seared uh, fillet, served with a, um, a tamarind gluten-free wasabi and um, soya and chili mix. Today we're ready for action. Yesterday the sea got the better of me, today I'm getting the better of the marlin. Got my two guns. <laughs> Guys, Cam here, day three of the competition. Um, really unsuccessful day yesterday, but hopefully, you know, today we'll bear more fruits. Um, first thing we're rigging up for the bonnies this morning, so all the lines are set. Um, we're going to try a live bait as yesterday trawling um, wasn't wasn't as successful as we had hoped. Today's rock and roll. Another day on the big ocean. Okay. Going for a little skipjack, bonito, little tuna as bait. So, number two lure to go in. Calamari, calamari steak. Bungee, yeah. I gotta go nice to The bungee's up. Using little bunny toes for, for bait. What are we doing? 2.5 knots. Nice and slow. And that's what our day is going to be like. The nice live bait for a while. The Rapala must have hurt him more than we saw. We're going to dispatch him, and we're going to we're going to make lunch. And this is two amazing fillets. We're going to do sashimi out of one of them. We're going to grill another. I want to fry up this carcass. So we're going to keep the head for a, for a bait, for a shark bait, which will, which will just add to, um, add to conservation and natural resource management. Sashimi. Not the prettiest looking sashimi. Where's the soya sauce? That's the, that's the best. Oh, that's the belly. Mmm. Very good. Yeah. Our chef has miraculously forgotten the pan. So we're gonna improvise. Great idea from Cameron. We're gonna cook the carcass. Wait, wait, it's gonna slide off, so you have to secure it. All the way. Guys, the effort we go to to not waste anything at Catch Cook is what we're expecting from everybody. Put a spice on you. This is improvising, guys. The whole thing about Catch Cook is don't waste anything. We kept the head for a shark bait. We kept the carcass to cook. Now three people can eat from one fish instead of having to kill two fish. Carcass in the middle is the third fillet. And guys, this is some of the best improvising I've seen. Well done, camera. Very ingenuitive and um, it's smelling and looking amazing. Tuna on two gaffs. This is amazing. I'm thinking we're gonna cook the other half a little bit longer. Mm. 
What a meal. Your spice is good, it works. Taking it off the bone here. Yeah. Put a bit of lemon on there. Awesome. Lovely. It's apple juice and soya, a bit of sriracha and apple. So if you don't want the soya, you actually want it to stab. So you got a sweet sour, you got your wasabi, you got your avocado, and you've got everything right there. That really does look amazing. I'm going to first mix up the wasabi. Okay. Wasabi and... Yes. Wow. That looks amazing. It can't be better than fresh. This is the bomb. Very, very good. Him's on again. One more up and on the boat. It's been better now. Uh, I feel like meat fix is not what you should be eating before you go on the boat. Okay, go ahead. One more, one two. Bit. Small one. Go for it. Bring him the loud bit. Mind the shot behind me, yeah. Behind you, please. Oh! That was like a Dorado or something, that. Guys, I think it's day four. It's uh, it's not it's not actually early, but we're going to spend about ten hours on the water today. And uh, yeah, I'm finished. Uh, a long day at sea. I don't think the swell is going to be gentle today. We're not starting that early, um, but we're going to go the distance till the end of the day. Day four. It feels like day twenty-four. Are we talking? And we're off. Today's the day! Day four of the competition, day five at sea for us. Uh, body's taking a little bit of strain now. And there's talks of the weather coming up somewhere along 12 o'clock. Uh, sea's quite calm this morning, but the wind is going to pick up a bit later. So we'll see how it goes. And we'll brave it. Morning control, morning control, morning control. Catch cook, catch cook, I mean. Very good morning to you, catch cook, over. Uh, yeah, catch cook leaving the over, seven on board, and uh, we're waiting for the 12 month. Okay, thank you, good luck. Part time. Thank you, sending mine, I did do it. Guys, so once again we're going for some live bait because most of the fish have been caught in live bait. Also, although a couple have been caught in conas, so we're going to give it our best to get some live baits on the boat. Spinning little spinners and trolling rapalas, but small rapalas and small squirts and small feathers. That's the plan for this morning. We're just preparing our conas because uh, as the sun comes out, you've got to change the colours. So dark water, dark conus, bright water, bright conus. Apparently that's the trick for the marlin, so we're going to give it a bash. All our lines, we need help here, guys. Take it off, right? No.
Mixed all of a sudden. Okay, let's have some fun, guys. Gently, 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 not more than a little bit. Oh, no, no. are going to be eight, 18 seconds apart, which is great, 16 to 19 seconds, call it 18, and the swell's going up to four meters and the wind's picking up, so it's going to be uncomfortable going back, if the swell gets shorter, it's going to be not lucky going back, we had it last year, so nothing much is happening, we've had a very boring morning, yeah, I don't feel the love today. I don't know, it's a lucky day. <laughs> it's a nice day. Today, today we'll catch some fish, big fish. Morning. We are all exhausted. It's been a long four days at sea, up and down seas, rough seas, vomiting. We had it all, 2021. But today, today we've imported uh, a mascot. So we're trying all stops. So live bait. If it's gonna work, we'll throw it overboard. Feeling great. I can taste that, Marlon. It's close. I feel better after the coffee, guys. Better already. Hopefully, we catch something today. So catching the bait. This is the business. Um, we only had two on board, we got very lucky with them yesterday, we managed to find another two in the garage and then of course a little bird to keep it going, keep a nice action and we hit on um, one of these also yesterday so hopefully we'll get better luck, in the, we'll get better luck with this today. Day five, then the comp. Let's hit the water, see what's happening. Thank you very much. Thank for a little bonita, skip jack and we're going to try to get some live bait. Marlin fishing looks like a very big hurry up and wait. <laughs> a lot of hurry up, wait. No, we're on, we're on, we're on, we're on, we're on. Keep reading, keep reading, keep reading. Very light, very light. I'm on here. Slow down, yeah, slow down. Slow down. No pressure on this time. Thank you, Jimmy. 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 Thank you, Jimmy.
Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Get ready. Get ready. Yeah, get ready. Get ready. Oh. Christmas fish. Are you sure that was a marlin, not a shark? It's either a shark or a marlin, one of the yeah. two. Marlin control, marlin control, catch cook. Project catch cook, go ahead. Yeah, we had a strike also on the live Um Here behind the 12 on the on the, on the meters contour. Okay, well done, catch cook. Okay. What day is it? Day, day six? Marlin control, Marlin control, Marlin control. This is catch cook, catch cook coming. Oh, catch cook, a very good morning to you. This is Marlin control. Yeah, good morning, Marlin control. Um, we're leaving the harbor, heading our way to the flock bunk, working our way up to the 12th. Uh, ETA probably 2 o'clock, and uh, I'm 7 packs aboard. Okay, catch cook, 7 on board, flock, and then 12 mile, ETA 1400. That's a limited. So this is the basic knot that I use when I tie a Rapala. I'm going to show you exactly how to tie it now. Super easy, very strong and allows the Rapala to move quite naturally. Um, so the first thing that we do is we tie a loop. Okay? So that's, that's the first stage of this knot. From here we're going to be going onto the little ring. Okay? And now what we do is we take this and we go around. I normally go around typically six times. One. I'm going to hold this piece of line and I'm going to slowly pull. That is the basic knot that I tie for my Rapalas. Don't show that to my dentist. Oh, okay. You did it. Are we on? Yeah. Okay, so we hooked in, we've got a nice circle hook right here, a little J hook just to hold the chin in place. Okay, we're covering his eyes so he stays nice and calm and we're ready to put him out. Right now we're not having that much luck, so we are going to find uh, kind of magic. So yeah, they've radioed in, they've given us their coordinates 
and yeah, we've set the GPS. Um, super overcast at the moment, so it makes seeing other boats in the water really, really difficult. Uh, but yeah, nice slow morning. So we're going to be doing a little bit of vertical jigging. There seems like there's some yellowtail um, at the 12 mile bank here. We're sitting in, in amongst the commercial fishing boats at the moment. And you can see we're sitting on top of a nice bait ball at about 25 meters. On a marlin right here. Check them out. So we're clearly in the right spot. Yes, have you got this? Yep, got it. Thanks, Peter. Tape. Can you just okay, let's just try to get the tape on it? Orange 272. Is it? There she goes! There she goes! 2020 21 Two Oceans Marlin Tournament winners, Dory! Who wants to go get him? I'll get him. just bring him in, I can't. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Gently on his mouth. Their mouths are so fragile and so disappointing when you lose them and it rips up their mouth. So. Fantastic marlin competition, lots of big fish caught by everybody. Pity we didn't get a marlin, but what a great time. And uh, congratulations to both Dory for winning the comp. We'll see you guys next year and we'll give it our best again. <laughs>